Hey, you know who it is, man. It's your boy Shooter the Investor, and I'm checking in for the gang. And gang, I got a banger for you. Are y'all familiar with Ledger? You know the Nano X, the Nano S? Well, Ledger's trying to change the game. I think they're preparing themselves for Web 3.0 with this new banger. Yeah, it's called the Stack. Hey, let's get into it. <laughs> Yeah, let's get into it, man. Y'all already know Ledger. And if you're not familiar with Ledger, they make the Nano S, the Nano X, and a slew other products for you to secure your crypto back. Now, before we get into all the details, this is very important. As I mentioned before, I am my responsibility to the community is to continue to talk about protecting your crypto back with all the latest shenanigans that's been going on in the crypto hemisphere this year. Voyager celsius ftx remember use decentralized exchanges for what they worth buy sell transfer most important transfer transfer those cryptocurrency bags off the centralized exchange because you do not own them onto a cold wallet all right let's get it we're going to talk about ledger ledger's dropping the game they changing it up they went from these little devices let me show you right here i got one of my my battle station right y'all know these the ledgers right little usb jones right this is this is a this is a, a nano x right here also have the s and i have the first generation as well too well ledger announced that they're teaming up with the father of the ipod for all my old techie heads out there you remember when the ipod came out right it was the mp3 player you can upload your music or whatnot it had that nice i wish i had one so i could show you guys but if you don't know you young you young bucks out there go google it youtube it you can see what the first ipod looked like well tony fidel he was the creator of the first ipod and he has teamed up with ledger to bring this beautiful piece of tech crypto hardware i mean it's really beautiful i'm not even gonna hold you i'm not even gonna cat with you it looks amazing. <laughs> it looks amazing. It looks like an iPod. It's crazy to think about it before I even knew who created it. I was talking to one of my homeboys, one of my trading partners, and I was like, bro, this thing looked like an iPod. We just kind of chuckled and laughed. And then when I started getting the, the news in the background of who created it, as soon as I heard Tony Nane, I knew it was up, right? So look, we're going to get into it. I'm going to switch screens so we can look at some news articles. We can look over the features, the designs, and the cost, the most important thing. And then I'm going to give you my personal opinion on if this is something that maybe you want to invest in to protect your bag. Check it out. Like I said, Tony Fidel is currently building the iPod of crypto. This is the Ledger Stack, and this is specially made for Web 3.0, right? We're not going to read this whole article. I just want to kind of put that out there that Tony is behind it. It's the product group who made Ledger's new hardware wallet, a tiny vote for digital cash, flashing and fun. Plus this gadget you'll never get. <laughs> you'll never get FTX. It, your FTX is turning into a freaking bird, bro. <laughs> you won't get FTX, yo. But all still, I mean, that was a, yeah, let's be for real, right? This can happen to any exchange, right? Coinbase, Binance, US Binance. Ultimately, we want to take full custody of our cryptocurrency if you put your hard-earned money to buy these assets and these exchanges are you know being scammy you know that make that doesn't that's not a good feeling personally i've never been in one of these exchanges that's taking people money or pulled up any type of scams or anything like that so i don't know how it feels firsthand but i can understand of losing money right hard-earned money all that being said protect your bag cold wallets are the best way cex's nah anyways i digress on that let's get into it man let's kind of like look over the ledger let's see what it looks like let me scroll to the top and this is the ledger st uh, stack this is on ledger's official website this is the stack cool things all right let's talk about some of the features in this sense right now it's not available it's only available for pre-order we'll talk about that um, but as you can see, you can actually stack these ledgers on top of each other. Now they have magnets. I don't know if, if you can see my cursor, there's magnets within these edgings where it allows it to snap in place. Now, cool feature. Is it something that is a must have? I mean, it's a little gimmicky for me just to keep it a buck. 
Like, you, I'm not going to be walking around in a coffee shop just stacking, walking around with a stack of ledgers on. You know what I mean? Like, I don't see the true value of it. I mean, if you're holding this into, like, let's say you got your ledgers in your safe in your home or in the bank or whatever the case may be, and you don't have that much space and you just want to kind of stack, I don't really see the point of it to stack. If you get it, let me know in the comments. To me, it's a little gimmicky. I don't, it's not like, oh my God, I can stack them. I'm about to go out and buy it. No. But the cool thing is that you can, as you can see on the edges here, you have uh, the percentile as far as battery charge on it, which is pretty dope. It allows you to see that when you're looking at the baby ledger or the, Nano, or the Nano X and the S, you don't really have that feature. I mean, you do see it when you plug it in from your device. It does show if it's charging or how much battery is left. It does notify you when the battery is dying. But to kind of see that um, all the time, that's pretty dope. I do like that seeing this edge, this feature here with this readout, these icons. Then you can name the stack as well. So if you got multiple stacks, you see you guys know it was crypto, my mint bag, family backup. Right. I think that's very important, especially if you're dealing with um, a lot of different portfolios. Right. Um, and if you have some for your kids, your wife, whomever, right, you can kind of identify like, hey, this is yours. Or if you're just doing the crypto in your home, you can say these are my NFT stat. This is my metaverse stat. This is my long hole stack. This is my daily trade stack. However many stacks. I'm not telling you go out and buy four stacks um, because it has enough memory and the same amount of cryptocurrency can be held on it as well, too. I'm just saying if you want to, if you're an organized freak like me, I personally um, we're going to have more than one stack, right? I'm going to have two, one for each of my child, myself, my wife, and I'll probably have an extra one. So off the rip, that's four, five of them in my household. Moving on, enter the world of digital assets protected by security. You see, feel, and touch. Very, very important. They have a short film here. As you see, this thing is beautiful. It looks like the iPad. This is fully touch screen, right? If you touch these little tabs right here, it's going to take you into your polygon holding. You see XRP in that thing. That big boy Cardano, Solana's there too as well. These little these little icons are touchable, so you can go ahead and slide into it just like if you're already on the Ledger Live, um, in a sense. But now I was going to show you guys it's loading. Um, you can just touch and see what your holdings are. They have the settings bar. They got the back bar. It looks beautiful. This is a 37 clip. I'm going to run it real quick. Let me turn this on so I don't get hit with the monetization. Look at that. Trust yourself. A hey, ledger between hard cold, cold wallets. Ledger is up there with Tezzer as well. You know, I've done a video on Arculus as well, too. I really like them as well. But I mean, when it comes down to like time and service in a sense ledgers up there with the big dogs of it and for them to come out with this beautiful piece of technology here and have that backing that's that stamp of approval you can't beat it man so we just watched a little 30 second clip you can go back and watch it on the official website or you can probably find a clip on youtube as well too um but another customize you can customize your lock screen so you can personalize with your favorite nft if you are into nfts you can put your nft on there or a picture, just like your cell phone with your screen lock. You know, you want to throw your family in there, whatever the case may be. Like, you know, I got my babies right here. You did. You can do the same thing on the ledger. So, again, that helps identify what it is, right? So, if you have multiple multiple stacks, this is your NFT. So, you may have your NFT. This might be your family one. You got your family picture, your kids, whatever the case may be. It just makes it cool, right? Is it one of those features that is a must-have for your ledger? I won't say it is, but it's just a cool factor, right? It's just kind of cool to kind of identify as soon as you pick it up, boom, I know which one this is. It's customization is very important when you're into this game. It just makes it fun, right? Does it does it make the product better? Not necessarily. It just makes it more fun, more cool. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with Apple. Apple came out and made it fun, more cool to have a cell phone, have a smartphone. Ledger kind of taking that path. They deal with the guy who started the iPod, Apple product. They're taking that that the direct turn, Web3, ownership, coolness, NFTs, metaverse. See where I'm going with this? All right, tap in. So as you can see, you got a bunch of different options here. This is like a regular screen saver. This one like a regular screen. I mean, you know, your crypto pumps, your ape if you own anything. 
uncompromised <clears throat> security. You already know how ledgers come in power with the secure element chip and ledgers. OS battle tested for years. They top dog. You already know where they sit now when it comes to security. Trusted by millions. Uh, clean, uh, built for understanding, right? So as you can see here, we're looking at um, Lily's crypto sign transaction to send Bitcoin hold to sign. You can read, understand, and sign transactions with ease, man. Come on, man. They're making it easier for you just to move freely without having a cord. When I use this, I got to have a cord on me. I got to plug up into my computer. I got to launch Ledger Live desktop or I got to clink up with Bluetooth, right? I'm walking around with the stack on me. I got a stack on me. You feel me? You already know how we coming, man. We got the stack on me. I got a stack on me and a stack on me. You feel me? I'm excited. You have to excuse me, man. I think it's dope. I'm a techie. So it is what it is. They got the E-Touch screen. If you're not familiar with the E-Touch, and I ain't going to hold you, I had to Google it. <laughs> Curve E-Touch screen, but it's the same equivalence to those curved Samsung watches, right? Look, this one right here, this is an E-Tech, that curved screen, same as your Kindle um, you got this right here as well. So it has that curvature feel to it. Um, so that's what that curved e, e ink touch screen looks like. This is also battery efficient. Um, you can have up to about 15 hours on it. It's low battery. So you're, which was a big problem with these. These things do not hold a charge for nothing. You get up to 15 hours on this super thin screen. I think it's going to be dope, man. It's going to be hella dope for real. Battery saving, paper light, easy on your eyes. I think you even got a low tint to it as well, too. It's not hella bright, so you're not sitting there just blinding yourself out. Um, palm size. So, obviously, it's designed for travel on the go. That's a beautiful thing. Now, this right here is definitely travel on the go, but you need cords, right? You need your cords with you and all that stuff. And I'm not knocking the X and trying to tell you guys or pump you up to go get the stack. I'm just giving you the comparison and we'll look at the comparison on the chart on, the, uh, on their breakdown as well. But, you know, as you can see, you still need a core. I still need a USB right up in here. Right. I still need my, need my USB. I still need to do all this. Right. I'm not saying this is a bad product. This one right here just looks a little bit more friendlier in a sense for it when it comes for my movement. When I'm moving around when I'm on travel, I just grab the stack. Let's go. Got a stack on the stack and I'm good to go. It is what it is, right? Transactions control earn on the go. You can still earn. You still have your live, your app here. You already know if you're following my channel. We staking on Ledger for the ones we can stake. The Solana, the Polkadot, the Efi. You know, we're not letting none sit stagnant in the bear market. We staking, we get catching up with APIs on it all day. As you can see, you can crypto swap still. You got the same features convert, earn, buy, send, receive, sell trade etc 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 nothing has changed from that the ledger live is still the same that's awesome everything you need to explore web3 uh you can your assets are secure smooth experience that's very important i'm big on ui ux ui ux user interface user experience like to me simple is good simple is better the better the simpler it is the easier to use the better i enjoy it the more i will use it so UI UX has to be up there. Um, personalization, we got that check off. You know, I'm going to do some cool stuff with mine. And I said with mine because I've already pre-ordered. <laughs> Trying to jump the gun there. Um, what is this? Oh, duh, duh, duh. So it's free to ask questions on the website, et cetera, et cetera. So now we looked at it. We watched the video on it. Seen some of the features that they're going to have. It's going to have that, that, grade, that grade A1 that grade A1 without the, without the state sauce security. So that's pretty dope to, to know that. Um, full feature list. I mean, we can go here and look at it. I mean, we already looked at the features, right? We know what the specs are. Let's look at some comparisons, right? Let's kind of look at the two. Uh, jump, the, jump the gun. Let's see. Leave me, hey, let me, know in the, let me know in the comments. Is this something that you're excited about? Is this something that you're going to get? Remember, if you're going to pre-order, make sure you click my link in the first pinned comment or in the description. You know what I'm saying? That helps the channel out. I don't get anything. Um, it's not a discount code or anything like that. Um, it's just, you know, it's an affiliate link. You can click it. 
and then you can order this or get any other ledger products on there if you're not holding the ledger totally up to you i would appreciate it if you do so uh, but it's not mandatory you dig let's do see all products let's see if it gives me the comparison um okay so we'll look at this comparison so all right so the ledger stacks is going to run you about 279 right obvious reasons you get more tech than these thumb drives you get a little bit more more customization you get in a lot more style in a sense but at the end of the day we can kind of look and see what the difference are right so it's run off of bluetooth wireless charging very important again the less cords the better right wireless charging touchscreen so you get bluetooth which the letter the ledger x has already but you're getting wireless charging which none of these have touchscreen which none of these have it still works on windows mac android ios fully customization custom customizable which these other two the x and the s plus are not you can do nfts on all of them and you still have five thousand plus coins obviously you're going to get the same coins on every product you're going to come in one color right now with this graphite color compared to the nano x which just released a bunch of different colors the black uh which is like this i think it's like orange yeah orange um and this like cool little purple one um which i had got my wife because her favorite color is purple <laughs> the ledger s comes in multicolors as well too um uh, white blue whatnot i have this one particular as well too it doesn't run off of Bluetooth, totally off the, have to plug up, and it doesn't have a, like, viewing screen, so, kind of old school. I have this one, it's for more of my kids. Um, the price difference, $279, $149, dollars Obviously, there's, you know, depending on what your budget is, what you can, what you're willing to invest, um, it's totally up to you. Now, which one do I prefer, like? Or which one do I recommend? If you're on a small budget, you're fairly new to the cryptocurrency market, definitely will go probably with the Nano S Plus. The only downfall is that is that it doesn't have the Bluetooth, right? But if your budget is small, um, I definitely will go there. If you can up a little bit, right, between the stack and the letter and the Nano X for someone who is new in the game, I would definitely go with the Nano X. I don't think you need all the the the, the fun tools or the extra features. If you're new into the market, if you're especially trying to use one of these things, I think you should definitely start small um, and learn how to use a ledger, uh, a ledger X, how to move crypto from a central exchange, putting it on your on your ledger, etc. So I think the X would be for somebody who is novice into the game would definitely be a good investment if you have double of what the S plus is and you don't want to spend two hundred seventy nine dollars on the stack. Now for my OG big dogs. <laughs> my OG big dogs that been in several bull bull markets and bear markets and is in the crypto game for a minute minute. Do I recommend it a stack? Well, totally up to you, man. <laughs> it's totally up to you because you can still get by with the Nano X if you want the full customization, the touchscreen, the wireless charging, um, and just all the cool other features and whatnot. If you got the budget, go for it. You feel me? Like. But if it's something you're looking at and you're just like, oh, I don't know, I don't think I want to spend a 279 on it. I can go get like a Nano X and a Nano S Plus, which makes sense as well too. do that as well. Um, is it budget friendly? I mean, it is what it is, right? When it comes to the cost, depending on how much money you want to invest on protecting your crypto bag. For me personally, again, I'm a tech head. Um, I've already pre-ordered one full Full, this full transparency and disclaimer, I've already ordered one pre-order. I'm planning on getting another one as well, two on pre-order. These things will not be shipped out until the end of March of next year. So for me, I've already ordered them. The full total price with tax and all that stuff is like $303, um, $303. And I live in California, so it might be different depending on where you live at with the whole shipping and shipping costs, etc. cetera. Uh, but it was $303. i have already uh not shipping excuse me taxes uh so i'll be waiting on mine at the end of march that'd be a little b-day gift for me uh for sure but i'm definitely going to get two of them bad boys so for me i pre-ordered i'm already jumping onto it it is what it is um but again if you have the budget for it and you want that uh to be off a leash meaning having a cord <laughs> then might be something that you may want to invest in at the end of the day again some of the some of the features on here with the stacking i'm not 
it wasn't a stacking for me that made me wanted to maybe pre-order it. I just think more so just being on the go when I'm out and about, if I'm on travel, et cetera, and I can have that, right? So I'm excited about that. Um, yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> and here it is right here, 279. You got the pre-order here. It has day-to-day -day use for crypto NFTs. Obviously, man, you can see that we're turning it up here in the crypto hemisphere. You know what I'm saying? They're going all the way out. Self-custody. Very important. Self-custody. Very important. Self-custody. Very important. Take your funds off of centralized exchanges. I'm not saying Coinbase, Binance, KuCoin is the one I'm using. Any problems or I got any intel that something's going to happen. But you never know. You never know what can happen. And it's better to protect the bag than be sorry at the end of the day. All right. I'm not going to I have to stress this in every video, guys. I'm sorry. I care about you guys and your hard money and how you invest. I care about this, this industry. I care about this, uh, this community, because at the end of the day, we know that decentralization and DeFi uh, is going to be the way of the future future. And so I'm standing on business. I'm going to talk about this issue. I'm going to bring up support. Uh, protecting and securing your stuff in every video it is what it is get used to it anyways it's your boy shooter investor make sure you check out the pinned comment go ahead and order your uh stack if you're gonna go get it if you don't have an x or s plus and you want to go get one after this video click the link go get you one let me know if you already holding ledger let me know what your favorite feature is about the ledger and also don't forget i have an ebook how to crypto a to z guide learn how to buy crypto sell crypto transfer crypto teaching you the most important things securing your bag securing your bag i talk about that in several different chapters i talk about ledger everything tezros arculus etc anyways it's your boy man i love y'all peace secure the bag <laughs> all right i'm out y'all peace <laughs> secure the bag <laughs>